Well, the first thing that comes into my head is which me? Who am I? I'm from Hawaii, Honolulu, Hawaii. I, I've been here for maybe 30 years, just about. Went into live art. I didn't know what the word was back then. I just knew I wanted to be creative. When you're talking about Lada, Lada、um, opened a lot of doors for me. One was through these DIY schemes. Basically, for me, DIYs are just ways to connect with people that I would never have a chance to. And you know, this DIY is about connection, about meeting people who I might never meet, even in a live art setting. I really think that I became an artist because I couldn't do anything else. You know, even if I was selling shoes or. Whether I was,、um, I don't know, working, selling foot massagers or something. At the end of the day, I'd go home and I'd write about it. And sometimes I might doodle a cartoon, or maybe I think about, oh, well, maybe I'll make a poem and I perform it or something. So I was always trying to express the story of my life through some kind of creative means. And possibly I was lonely, and I wanted. To say, hey, this is this is a story about me. It might be a story about you. Can can we hang out? Can we be friends? <laughs> and I don't know if anything's changed. And to be honest, I, I mean, I, I didn't always do it well. I still don't don't do it well. But I love doing it, making art, whatever you want to call it. I loved it so much. I didn't mind doing it badly. And that's how I am even now. It's like, yeah, this could be, shit, but I can't stop making this. I'm gonna keep doing it. Showing up, showing it badly, and see who it connects with. DIY stands for do it your damn self. <laughs> It's usually a bunch of artists who are gonna hang out with other artists to help each other do it better. And we do it ourselves. We're not waiting for a messiah. We're not waiting for somebody who's you know who's got all the answers. It's like you, 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 you know what you wanna. What motivates you? What gets you excited? What makes you come alive? And and that's what it is. It's just a bunch of artists helping each other out. My DIY is for anyone struggling with、um, perfection. For anybody who can't seem to start, so you can't start. You can't continue. Maybe you're in the middle of something, but you cannot. You can't continue making. You you get a block and you run away, and or it's for those that can't finish. It's like you have a project, you got it to the middle, but you just can't finish anything. So it's for anybody who's stuck, basically, in any of those gears. I want to hang out with you. I'm not looking for anyone who wants to identify as an artist. You don't have to identify as anything. You could just say, I identify as a human being who's a bit struggling. Can I hang with you, Stace? And that's the kind of people I'm most excited to work with. You don't have to know anything about live art. I don't know anything about live art. <laughs> you know, if if you're curious, if you're willing to show up and not know what's going to happen next, then I I would love to meet you and to hang out with you. What I really should say also is, if you're really hardcore into live art and you know all about it, you might not want to take this class, you know, because it's not going to be really about making a perfect、uh, piece of art. It's going to be more about what gets in the way of connection, what gets in the way of connecting, connecting to people that we want to connect to. Our audiences, or our friends, our colleagues. When we're afraid of making art, something happens to ourselves. I think what we're really afraid of is that we might abandon ourselves if it's not good enough. And so it's going to be a lot of those kind of conversations more than, "Hey, Stace, how do we make good art?" I have no idea how to make good art. <laughs> But it's going to be, "Hey, Stace, can we have a conversation about it?" And I'll say, "Yeah." We're going to make a conversation by making art. That is the that is going to be how we communicate. Is we're going to reflect and respond by making something in response to something else that somebody else did. You know what? For me, live art is what brings you alive. It's like what makes you come alive. So if it's like I don't know, maybe you like knitting, or maybe you like drawing, or 
maybe you're actually afraid of it. You're even afraid to say, yeah, I like to do, a, I like to do poems or I'm afraid to, to say I'd like to get up and dance. You know, like I think sometimes what makes us come alive also makes us feel really fearful that if we can't do it well, you know, then, then something very precious might be taken away from us. Um, live art is whatever brings you, brings you alive in the morning, whatever makes you light up. There's not going to be a lot of judgment in this live art. Can I also say the one thing that's really missing in live art is working class people. Yeah. I'm working class. I come from poor working class as well. And I think that there's so much pain involved in being working class and trying to get into the art you know arts world it's a it's i think it's harder yeah. i have more problems with myself trying to to operate as a person that's working class and so we really need more people like you so if you've got any friends that you know that who are working class who might be saying oh i don't think i i can be you know this isn't for me i'm not good enough whatever please encourage them to apply because that's the kind of people i really want to reach Oh my God. No, I'm from Hawaii. <laughs> I fucking hate pineapples. They scare me. Get them off my fucking pizza. I don't want fish on my pizza. I don't want anchovies. Just, you know, I don't want those. So pineapples on pizzas, not on Stacey Makishi's pizza. <laughs>